Mars is power. Mars is execution. Mars is energy. When Mars is not beneficial in your horoscope, you cannot execute things properly. Though you want to do things, but you don't feel motivated. You don't have right resources. You don't meet with right people. It is very essential to have a good Mars. Out of the Purn Paramatma Amsh planet, the planets, when powerful, gives great success in life. Mars is one of the Purna Paramatma's planet along with Sun, Moon and Rahu. So to be extremely successful in life or to get your wishes and desires fulfilled, you need at least one Purna Paramatma's planet to be powerful. These planets are Sun, Moon, Mars and Rahu. No one is having a perfect horoscope. Everyone will have some or other type of problem. Because if we have done all the good karmas in our previous life, then why we are born as humans, right? It is a testimony to this particular fact that we have done some bad karmas in our life. But the life is not about repentance. The life is about understanding what we have done and then making it better by taking proper path to do things. And this is what I am talking about in this Karma Correction series. I am telling you different remedies as per the placement of planets in different houses of your horoscope. These remedies you should have in your practice in your day-to-day -day life which will improve your personal life by leaps and bounds and will make you more fortunate, more successful and happy. With respect to Mars, if there is Mars in the Ascendant, what changes you need to do in your life? First of all, you should have a regime in your life. Like have few things that you do every day. Right. For example, you exercise every day, you wake up early every day, have these things in your life that you do every day. Make a proper schedule and do things according to schedule. Be headstrong and if you have decided to do something, do it no matter what happens. A strong internal self-discipline is very much needed for the Mars and Ascendant to give you very good results. You should be goal-oriented. You should not do things for time pass. Anything you do, you do it with some purpose and motivation and have some agenda in life that you want to achieve. I will tell you that write goals in your personal diary that this thing I want to do in these many days and give your 100% in doing it. Have ambition in your life and be dedicated and devoted towards achieving that ambition. Give your 100% to that ambition. Then Mars in the Ascendant will start giving you good results. Also, you should do regular donations or donation on a regular interval, say once every week or once every 15 days, you should do. For sure. And elders people, elder people in your family, in your society, around you, you should respect them. You should make them feel respected. Like It's not like you only, you know, mentally respect them. In your behavior also, the respect will be the respect should be reflected and you should try to follow their advice until and unless it is extremely against you. You should try to follow their advice. Don't think suspicious about their intentions. Just trust them and follow their advice. If you are having Mars in the second house, then you should donate food to the needy people. You should donate vessels to temples, NGOs, and other institutions. You should donate musical tools, singing tools, speakers, etc. to temples and musical institutes, etc. All of these things. Control, have control over your tongue. Contemplate what you are going to say and the implications that it may have. Never hurt anyone because of your words. Be careful and diplomatic in your conversations. Try to speak less and speak more effectively. And if needed, take the help of 
सेल्फ हेल्प बुक्स फॉर दिस एज वेल डोनेशन ऑफ किचन आइटम्स टू टेम्पल प्रीस एंड नीडी पीपल विल ऑल्सो बी वेरी बेनिफिशियल इफ यू आर हैविंग मार्स एंड सेकेंड हाउस If you are having Mars in third house, then first of all you should not be impulsive. Do everything only after proper thinking and planning, and don't do things just out of blue or just because you want to do it. You should have hobbies in life that you should fiercely, passionately, dedicatedly follow. A physical fitness regime of going to gym, practicing practicing martial martial arts, and all of these things should be followed very dedicatedly. You should pay taxes on time and don't try to evade taxes under any condition. Try to maintain good and cordial relationship with your siblings and give them gifts whenever possible or whenever a right occasion comes. And you can also try to. give headgear helmets etc to people around yourself to needy people or to anyone in your family to friends and family members you can donate them helmets and other things that people wear on their head this will also be a very good remedy if you are having mars in fourth house then donate for the last rite of any woman specifically married woman who have had children in the last rites of that lady you should do some donation like say someone is belonging from a poor family and they want to do a grand you know bhoj they want to you know distribute food after the demise of their mother so you can contribute some food or some wealth to them so that they can successfully do it this you should do this will be very helpful for you and the pitru karma for your mother if she is not with you should be done very dedicatedly and with discipline violence of all types even using abusive words should be avoided under all conditions if possible move out of birthplace or at least go on a small vacation trip outside your city at least once a month in land related matters cheating you should not do false promises related to land or giving false information to people just to sell your land at high prices or sell your land quickly should not be done if you live in rented home and you are wanting to change it then try to give quick timely possession to the one who owns the home be disciplined in the home land property related matters that will be very good for you choose your friends very wisely and watch out very carefully the nature behavior character and intentions of those people with whom you are spending your time generally mars in the fourth house because of the company of bad people one loses many things in life so make sure to have a relationship with gentlemen spiritually oriented good karma focused people only in your fights competitions and your struggles you should deal with them yourself only don't take help of others in your own things whatever you have to do do it all by yourself this will be a very good remedy with mars in the fourth house if you are having mars in the fifth house then you should donate to young male children give gifts to them edible items chocolates etc around yourself whomever you can find an idol or an image of baby hanuman you should purchase and put it in the northern wall of your home that you should worship every day specifically hanuman chalisha hanuman chalisha should be chanted every day hanuman bahuk chanting every day is also very beneficial with mars in the fifth house an idol of som sundaram if possible you should have in your home som sundaram idol is a idol of shiva and parvati on a plate with baby kartike in between 
So this, if possible, have in your home, have in your puja room, have in your worship place. Try to develop some skill set. Right. And always, you know, join some like always means on a regular interval. You should join some courses to hone and enhance your skills. Some short time, one week, two week courses, you should keep on joining. That will also be a very good remedy. You should not be biased in taking decisions and never give decisions to favor someone or never show favorism in taking decisions or voting or doing things like that. Be impartial. That will be best for you. Don't be ungrateful. Recognize people for what they have done and appreciate them whenever possible. Try to keep your bosses happy and follow whatever logical thing they are saying to you. Remain truthful. Always speak truth. Telling lies are not for you. And don't be afraid of being disliked. If you think that if you be true to your nature, someone will dislike you, let it happen. And if you know of any such person, I will tell you that don't remain in contact with that person for very long. If you are having Mars in the seventh house, then renovate your ancestral property and keep your ancestral property and the property where you are residing neat and clean in proper shape. And the surroundings around your home should also be kept neat and clean as much as possible. While driving, you should be very careful. And if possible, if you find any distressed person on streets, then try to help them while maintaining a safe distance as much as possible. You should keep on joining small courses or learn from YouTube about the uses of different, different tools as a part of hobby or something to improve your professional skill that will also be very beneficial for you. You should also donate to people suffering from skin diseases or donate to institutions who help people suffering from skin diseases. Try to have an emotional connection with your spouse and spend some quality time with your spouse every day as a routine. Right? Don't be a miser in spending money. And with respect to dealing with maternal relatives, be careful of cheatings and other bad results that can come from their side. These things you should do with Mars in the sixth house and it will slowly improve. That is very certain. If Mars is there in the seventh house, then you should go on a sea voyage or at least once in a year, visit some pilgrimage, which is around sea, Dwaraka, Jagannath Puri, Rameshwaram. This you should visit once in a year. It will be very good. Worshipping river by being by chanting Ganga Sastranam, Vishnu, Ganga Sastranam, Yamana Sastranam, Ganga Stotram, Yamana Stotram, Ganga Stotra Satanamavali, Yamana Stotra Satanamavali, and worshipping the river goddesses by chanting their mantras. And all of these things are very beneficial. If you are having Mars in the seventh house, have strong characters, ethics and morals, never compromise in relationship, never cheat in marriage and relationships. Under any condition. Also, you should have a attitude of never giving up. No matter how many problems, hurdles, obstacles come. If you have decided to do something, do it under all cost and under all conditions. Vita taking vitamin and calcium supplements for the strengthening of bones and ligaments should be done. And doing exercise, physical training daily will be very helpful. And always try to focus on the thing that you are doing. Don't do things while being absent minded. That will be the best remedy for you. If there is Mars in the 8th house, try to be vegetarian. Remain humble. Don't talk a lot about your supremacy or how blessed you are in your life. Try to listen to other people. You should donate tools to needy people. And if you can help anyone learn the uses of tools, then help them. These tools will... Also include 
teaching people how to use Excel or Microsoft Word more efficiently, or it can be a donation of a screwdriver or some ladder to some, you know, daily wage worker as well. Right. So whatever seems suitable to you, according to your understanding that you should do. You should donate to widow and handicapped people and to organizations and institutions who are trying to help them. You should not take bath in late evening or in night. Make sure to take bath in daytime only. Trapping anyone, cheating people, blackmailing people for your own benefits or because or for the purpose of fun should never be done. Otherwise, it will be very problematic. If you are having Mars in the ninth house, then you should go on a pilgrimage which have, you know, rules and regulations attached to it. Like, for example, there are two, three types of pilgrimages, right? For example, one can go to a pilgrimage either normally, like anyone can visit the pilgrimage, go to the temple and it is okay. And then there are pilgrimages like Sabrimala where you have to observe 40 days of celibacy and all of these things before you take on to the journey. So such pilgrimages where you are expected to follow some regime before taking on the pilgrimage, you should do once a year or once every five years, at least if you are having Mars and 9,000, it will be very beneficial. If spiritual leaders around you or spiritual leaders that you admire, you should try to serve them by donating them money or helping in their works by, you know, by promoting their works, by talking about their works and uh, educating people about their works in the best of your capacity. Right. That you should do. Temple of Tamasic goddesses such as Durga, Kali, Chamunda, etc. You should visit whenever possible and feasible. Along with that, juices should be offered to Shiva, sweets should be offered to Vishnu, and fragrance, honey, clove, such things should be offered to Devi for Mars in the ninth house, and this will be very beneficial for you. Donate wealth or building material for the construction or renovation of temple or some other religious places such as Dharamshala, etc. That will also be very beneficial for you. The advice of elders around yourself should be followed very strictly if possible. If you are having Mars in the 10th house, then you should try to help your juniors at your workplace in the best of your capacity. Fire related materials, heaters, etc. Or things which are used in welding and all of these things should be donated to needy people and institutions. Make sure to take bath from sunrise till noon and don't take bath after noon or midday. With Mars in the 10th house. At the junctions of the day. In afternoon. In evening. Don't sleep. Whenever possible. You should try to feed animals. Give food to animals. And specifically donation of cooked food. Specifically the one which is cooked by yourself. Should be done. If you do not know how to cook food. Yourself then. You know you can cut the vegetables. And something yourself and can take anyone's help to cook it and then you can donate it. If you are having Mars in the 11th house, then at least one tenth of your income you should donate every month. You should also give financial support to spiritual people and institutions around yourself. Kitchen items, vessels, gas stoves, etc. should be donated to the needy people. You should try to help Help giving education to poor and underprivileged people. Try to donate to the organizations who are working towards giving education to poor and unprivileged students, children, etc. Donation of food items also should be done. And arguing and fighting with family members should be avoided under all costs if there is Mars in 11th house. Mars in 12th house, you should be 
केयरफुल ऑफ योर क्लिनलीनेस मेंटेन गुड पर्सनल हाइजीन लाइक ट्रिम योर नेल्स एट टाइम हैव शेव एट टाइम कट योर हेयर्स एट टाइम एट टाइम एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स राइट डोंट लुक लाइक एन वाइल्ड एनिमल यू शुड मेंटेन क्लिनलीनेस इन योर होम स्पेसिफिकली चेयर देर chair where you sit every day table that you use every day bed where you sleep every day should be cleaned every day as well as you wake up from sleep you should make your bed before you start working on your table clean the table and then start working over it so cleanliness around yourself and personal hygiene should be maintained army funds donate to army funds donate to handicapped people help widows donate to the organizations who are working towards their upliftment you should give gifts to your siblings to your friends and to the siblings of your spouse also try to maintain cordial relationship with themselves don't fight with them don't say bad about them don't engage in verbal argument with them don't engage in verbal argument with them and at the same point of time don't give them gift or maintain cordial relationship with them with this expectation that they will come to your use or they will come to your rescue at some point of time do all of these things selflessly you should follow any spiritual tradition that you like wholeheartedly try to follow all of the teachings of the guru of that particular tradition and if possible donation to that particular spiritual institution should be done on a regular basis if there is some thing that is happening in your society where all the members are participating to do something for public welfare such as planting trees etc you should also participate into this good work and do this particular thing towards your spouse you should be respectful towards your spouse give credit of things to your spouse abusing physical fight uses of bad words indecency and cheating your life partner should be avoided under all circumstances otherwise mars and the 12th house will give you very bad results these small things related to nature behavior character are very easy to follow but when followed for one one and a half year regularly with dedication devotion and complete faith i have seen that the small remedies have changed the life of people by 360 degrees i have shared remedies for all the nine planets and all the 12 houses in this series so that you can benefitingly use it for your betterment you do it for one one and a half year believing my words and then the result you will see by yourself and you will thank me later thank you for watching the video